Welcome back, future IT pros. If you're aiming to pass the CompTIA Tech Plus exam, here's the truth. The best way to learn is by doing practice tests. Reading alone won't cut it. You need repetition, exposure to different scenarios, and the confidence that comes from answering hundreds of questions. Most successful candidates go through 600 to 1,000 practice questions before sitting the real exam. And that's exactly what sets them apart. So in this video, we're going to tackle another set of Tech Plus practice questions using Skill Test Pro. So let's get started and let's keep building that momentum. First question. A user reports no video output despite the computer powering on. What component should the technician check first? The network adapter? The sound card? Video card? Storage controller? Or memory module? The correct answer is the video card. The video card, or GPU, handles video output, and a failure can cause no display. Network adapters affect connectivity, sound cards handle audio, storage controllers manage drives, and memory modules cause crashes, not display issues. All right, next question. A company requires employees to use fingerprints to access their workstations. What security measure is this? A password policy? Network segmentation, data encryption, biometric authentication, or intrusion detection? The correct answer is biometric authentication. Biometric authentication uses fingerprints for secure access. Password policies manage credentials, segmentation isolates networks, encryption secures data, and intrusion detection monitors threats, none involving biometrics. All right, next one. A data analyst needs to organize historical sales data for reporting in a star structure. Which database concept should they use? Relational model? Hierarchical model? Network model? Data warehouse schema? Or flat file model? The correct answer is data warehouse schema. A data warehouse schema, like a star structure, organizes data for analytical reporting. Relational models use tables, hierarchical models use trees, network models allow complex links, and flat file models are simple, none optimized for analytics. All right, next question. A development team adopts a methodology allowing frequent updates based on user feedback. Which methodology are they using? Agile? Waterfall? Spiral? V-model? or RAD, RAD? The correct answer is Agile. Agile methodology supports frequent updates and flexibility based on user feedback. Waterfall is linear, Spiral focuses on risk, V model emphasizes verification, and RAD, RAD prioritizes rapid prototyping, none prioritizing iterative feedback. All right, next question. A user connects a legacy keyboard, but it does not work. Which port is likely used? USB-C, HDMI, Thunderbolt, PS2, or DisplayPort? The correct answer is PS2. Legacy keyboards often use PS2 ports, which may require driver or compatibility fixes. USB-C, HDMI, Thunderbolt, and DisplayPort are modern ports, unsuitable for legacy keyboards. All right, next question. A developer writes a function to validate individual code components before integration. What are they performing? Integration testing? Unit testing? System testing? Regression testing? Or load testing? The correct answer is unit testing. Unit testing validates individual code components before integration. Integration testing checks combined components. System testing verifies the entire system. Regression testing ensures no new errors. And load testing assesses performance under stress. All right, next question. A network administrator needs to ensure all devices have synchronized clocks for accurate logging. Which protocol should they configure? FTP, HTTP, NTP, SNMP, 
or IMAP? The correct answer is NTP. NTP, or Network Time Protocol, synchronizes clocks across devices for accurate logging. FTP transfers files, HTTP serves web pages, SNMP manages devices, and IMAP retrieves emails, none of which handle clock synchronization. All right, next question. A computer produces no display output, but the fans are running. What should the technician check first? The Northbridge chipset? BIOS settings? Power supply voltage? The monitor connection? Or the network adapter? The correct answer is the monitor connection. No display output with running fans suggests a loose or faulty monitor connection. The Northbridge handles component communication. BIOS settings affect startup. Power supply issues prevent fan operation. And network adapters affect connectivity, not display. All right, next one. A security team discovers that attackers are exploiting unpatched software vulnerabilities. What type of attack is this? Phishing? Cross-site scripting? Brute force? Denial of service? Or exploit attack? The correct answer is an exploit attack. Exploit attacks target unpatched software vulnerabilities to gain access. Phishing tricks users. Cross-site scripting injects code. Brute force guesses passwords. And DOS disrupts services, none of which directly exploits software flaws. All right, next question. A database user needs to simplify access to complex query results without modifying the underlying tables. What should they create? A database trigger? Foreign key? Database view? Table index? Or data validation rule? The correct answer is database view. A database view creates a virtual table from a query, simplifying access to complex results without altering tables. Triggers execute actions, foreign keys enforce relationships, indexes improve performance, and validation rules ensure data accuracy. All right, you guys are doing great. Let's keep going. An architect needs software to design a new building. Which software type should they use? CRM software? ERP software? GIS software? SCM software? or CAD software? The correct answer is CAD software. CAD, or computer-aided design software, is used to design buildings and physical objects. CRM manages customers. ERP integrates processes. GIS analyzes geographic data. And SCM handles supply chains, none suited for architectural design. All right, next one. A network engineer designs a topology where every device connects to all others for maximum redundancy. Which topology is this? Star? Ring? Mesh? Bus? Or tree? The correct answer is mesh. In a mesh topology, every device connects directly to all others, ensuring redundancy. Star uses a central hub. Ring forms a circle. Bus uses a backbone, and tree is hierarchical, none offering full device-to-device -device connectivity. All right, next one. An enterprise needs a storage solution for high-speed database access. Which storage type should they choose? Magnetic tape? Optical disk? A USB drive? A floppy disk? Or an NVMe SSD? The correct answer is an NVMe SSD. NVMe SSDs offer high-speed access, ideal for database performance. Magnetic tape and optical disks are slow, USB drives are portable, and floppy disks are obsolete, making them unsuitable for enterprise databases. All right, next question. A programmer needs to store a list of user inputs for processing. Which data structure should they use? Variable? Array? Function, class, or loop? The correct answer is array. 
An array stores multiple values, such as user inputs, in a single variable for processing. Variables store single values, functions perform tasks, classes define objects, and loops control flow, none of which are suitable for storing lists. All right, next question. A security analyst notices unauthorized login attempts in the system logs. What should they implement to detect future incidents? Data encryption? Network segmentation? Log auditing? Patch management? Or a remote wipe? The correct answer is log auditing. Log auditing regularly reviews system logs to detect unauthorized access attempts. Encryption secures data. Segmentation isolates networks. Patch management updates software. And remote wipe erases lost devices. But log auditing directly addresses login monitoring. All right, next question. A computer overheats during gaming, causing performance throttling. What should the technician install to address this? Additional RAM? A network adapter? Sound card? Storage drive? Or a heat sink upgrade? The correct answer is a heat sink upgrade. Upgrading the heat sink improves heat dissipation, preventing overheating during gaming. RAM boosts performance. Network adapters improve connectivity. Sound cards enhance audio. And storage drives add capacity, but none of these address overheating. All right, next question. A network technician is designing a topology where all devices connect to a central hub for easy troubleshooting. Which topology should they use? Ring, bus, star, mesh, or tree? The correct answer, star. In a star topology, all devices connect to a central hub, simplifying troubleshooting. Ring forms a circle, bus uses a single backbone, mesh connects devices directly, and tree is hierarchical, making troubleshooting more complex. All right, almost there. Let's keep going. An IT manager is deploying new software, and he wants to ensure that it meets hardware requirements. What should they perform first? Silent installation? Compatibility check? Network scan? Data backup? Or user training? The correct answer is compatibility check. A compatibility check verifies that software meets hardware and OS requirements, preventing deployment issues. Silent installations automate setup, network scans check connectivity, backups protect data, and training educates users, but compatibility is the priority. All right, next one. A user reports that their secure website loads slowly. What protocol should the IT team verify is properly configured? FTP, HTTP, HTTPS, SNMP, or Telnet? The correct answer is HTTPS. HTTPS ensures secure encrypted web browsing, and misconfiguration can slow performance. FTP transfers files, HTTP is unencrypted, SNMP manages devices, and Telnet provides unsecure remote access, none of which are relevant. And finally, number 70. A computer emits a loud grinding noise during operation. What is the most likely cause? A failing case fan? An overheating CPU? Corrupted RAM? A failing graphics card? Or outdated drivers? The correct answer is a failing case fan. A loud grinding noise typically indicates a failing case fan with worn bearings. Overheating CPUs cause shutdowns, corrupted RAM causes crashes, failing graphics cards affect visuals, and outdated drivers cause software issues, none of which produce grinding noises. And that is another round of Tech Plus practice questions complete. Great job sticking with it, everybody. Remember, the smartest way to prepare is to keep practicing. Aim for at least 600 to 1,000 questions before exam day, and you can walk in with confidence. Skill Test Pro has a full bank of realistic exam style questions, and I've dropped the link in the description and in the pinned comment so that you can keep training. 
Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep practicing. You are building the skills that will carry you to success.